everyone, I'm Brittany and this is Lauren and we're two of Festival's Dietitians and we're so excited today to be joining you from our patio to share this fun grilled take on a caprese salad. Yes, so today the star of our caprese salad is watermelon, which Yummy. who doesn't love watermelon in this warm weather? Absolute, absolute favorite fruit. And I think typically most people, you know, pick out a watermelon in this store, they slice it up and they serve it as a side right. or a snack. Um, but today we're using it in a recipe for a salad and instead of serving it fresh, we're going to actually grill it. I love that. I love grilled fruit. Grilled fruit is amazing. And one key to grilling fruit is to brush it with a little bit of oil and add some salt and pepper. So that's exactly what we're going to do with our watermelon today. So what we've done so far is just cut up our watermelon into triangles. And I'm just brushing it with a little bit of olive oil, which will be amazing. Yes. So while you're doing that, I'm going to talk a little bit about how to pick out the right watermelon at the grocery store. Ooh, good idea. I get this question a lot as a supermarket dietitian, so I figured a lot of us have questions still. Mm -hmm. um, what, you're, what you're looking for in the grocery store is a symmetrical watermelon that's pretty heavy for its size. So this one's pretty heavy. You also want to look for where, where the watermelon was laying in the soil as it was being grown. So there should be a creamy yellow patch and that indicates ripeness. So this one's pretty good, actually. We did a good job with this one. Awesome. And then once you cut it open, um, the flesh should look just about like this. So a nice bright red, not too many white streaks, and you don't wanna see that reddish tan color either. That indicates that it might be too dry or too watery. So sure. this one is just about perfect. Yes, it looks awesome. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just sprinkling a little bit of salt and pepper onto our watermelon. And I know a lot of people usually sprinkle salt on fresh watermelon. For some reason, it really helps bring out that flavors, but yes. that's exactly what we're doing today to really help bring out some of those flavors. Yes, it really does. And it's amazing how much more that watermelon flavor pops, not only with the grilling, but with adding this coarse salt. Yes, and then lastly, we're drizzling a little bit of honey, a little bit of natural sweetness, which this. will be very nice too when we get this on the grill. I'm so excited to try this. Yes, I can't wait. And this is just a really fun recipe to make if you're maybe you're having a cookout, you're looking yeah. for a salad, this could certainly be, you know, an appetizer or even, right. you know, a lunch. And it's something that's just a little bit different. I know when my family has watermelon, we don't typically eat the whole thing in a fruit salad. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have some leftover. So this is a great way and a unique way to really use the rest of it. Yes. So what we're going to do next is put these guys right on the grill. And we have our grill preheated to medium. Listen to that sizzle. Yes. And these are going to cook really fast because watermelon is full of water. So it's about two minutes per side is all you need for these guys. So I think our watermelon is about ready to flip. It's been about two minutes. Yeah, let's so check it let's out. let's take a peek and make sure that there's some good chard marks on here so far. Ooh, it's slippery. Yeah, that mm. lots of water. Ooh, that looks great. That looks These are beautiful. definitely ready to flip. I'm gonna get it in against the wall here. <laughs> lots of water. Coming out of here. I love those charred marks. Ooh, yeah. It just makes for a really good presentation, especially if you're entertaining with this recipe. And it just locks in all those flavors. So we're gonna yes. let this go for another two minutes and then we're ready to make our salad. So I think our watermelon's probably done now on the other yep. side. Let's take a peek. It smells amazing, so I think we're yeah, getting it really there. Yeah, does. Let's oh my take gosh. a look on this side. Oh yeah, that looks we're great. We're there, absolutely. Let's get these on this plate over here and then we'll be ready to assemble our salad. Yeah. All right. Now to assemble these salads, you could use two watermelon triangles. Today we're just going to use one per salad. Which one do you want? Um, I'm gonna go with this guy right here. Okay. I'm gonna go with this one. Looks it's very nice and charred. Okay, so now here comes the caprese, the caprese part of building the salad. Mm. So first we have these cherry tomatoes that are super juicy and fresh. We've just quartered them. So we're just gonna sprinkle this on. And these are the ingredients in a typical caprese salad, but you could certainly, I mean, really add whatever you have at home as yeah. far as fresh veggies and herbs, and herbs go, if yes. you have an herb garden. And then we have some fresh basil leaves. So you could definitely um, chop these, chiffonade these. These are whole, we're just going to tear them. You could certainly leave them whole if you want. I just wanna make them more bite size. It just adds a nice little flavor and then also a great presentation as far right. as the garnish goes. Yes, so here, I'll give you this and you can work on. Oh, that just smells good. And I a lot know. of eating is this. just about the smells too. Mm -hmm. And the um, aromas with fresh herbs, especially yes. and fresh fruits. Oh, so great for warm weather. And then finally we have some mozzarella. So this is actually local mozzarella to Green Bay. 
Um, it's Belgioza, one of our favorite brands. Just mm. very fresh, and we're just tearing this up. I love roughly. fresh mozzarella. There's nothing. There's nothing like it. It's got a very mild flavor, which pairs very nicely with the nice flavors of the watermelon. We don't want a cheese that's too robust right. to take over right. the flavor. Okay, and then I'm gonna do a little um, bit more of a honey drizzle. You could get it going. There we go. I'll let you do yours. Sure, ooh, and then our favorite ingredient. And then our favorite ingredient, our balsamic reduction glaze. So this you can actually find in our deli, and it's just a really handy ingredient to have on hand so you don't have to reduce your own balsamic. It's just ready. Oh, I'll leave it open for you. Thank you. Just ready to go for you. And look at this presentation. I mean, it's just so pretty. It looks like a gourmet. It looks like you spent a lot of time on this. And salad. how fresh and fun. I know. Okay. Ready to give this a try? Yes. I gotta I get into some. the watermelon here, and I'm gotta get some cheese. Yes, absolutely. Oh, got a basil leaf on there. Wow. The honey and balsamic is such a great combination. Yum, That's yum, really good. yum. I can't wait to make this. Absolutely. So if you're a fan of watermelon, you have to try this recipe. And remember, you can always eat well with festival foods.